There are two conversations going on. Uh, one is FTX and the other is digital assets. We're conflating the two in some of these discussions and we need to separate them. What FTX did was clearly fraud. You know, to take customer assets and assign a bank routing number that put those assets over at Alameda instead of at FTX was fraud. Uh, to have the inadequate accounting, no board of directors, 135 entities. So many of the things that we're doing had inadequate oversight, supervision, and control. So just as a business entity, they were practicing fraud. The fact that they were doing it using digital assets is a quite a different question. Now, the bill I have with Senator Kirsten Gillibrand in New York, the Responsible Financial Innovation Act, would lay our existing banking regulations uh, and cryptocurrency together. So what is a commodity under existing rules would apply to digital assets. What is a security under existing banking rules would apply as well. So, Senator, it's a very important point. There's a difference between just up and up fraud. You can commit fraud with all sorts of different assets on the one hand and cryptocurrencies on the other. But is there any nexus between the two? Uh, did the fact that it was cryptocurrency make it any more likely? And let me change it around a little bit. Would you think about changing any proposals in your bill because of what we learned from FTX? Not because of what we learned in the FTX case directly, but there was a piece of legislation that was in the Ag Committee that would have allowed uh, what FTX was doing in bundling functions, such as uh, broker-dealer functions, custody functions, lending functions. One of the bills in the Ag Committee would have allowed for that type of commingling of functions. Uh, the Lemus Gillibrand bill would not allow that, so I think it's very important uh, that we use the Lemus Gillibrand approach, which is to separate those functions just as they are separated within the banking industry.